Hello and welcome if you're going to get into another video. Today's video, we have a new event that popped up yesterday, which is Path of the Fate Weaver. And I am actually going to pull because I do need this soul. This soul is great, has great value in my account because I don't have that many go second champions and Freya is going to be my best go second champion. And a five star, five star soul would help a lot, okay? It's extremely good. If you have a Harima, I think it's also good to go for this because uh, Freya and Harima make a good to duo together. Uh, uh, what's the uh, overall? Uh, I'm kind of fine. Like you have a, a speedy glyph here. You have a speedy glyph here. With two speedy glyphs, that's better than farming fa faction for three weeks. I think you average two speedy glyphs per month. So having two speed i mean one is five star it is extremely good like and the value of it like they value it similar to 200 essence i would even take this over this one right here because this one right here will give me like a five star epic we all know that right but this one is like is a, is, is a six star speed glyph uh i think the rewards overall you just always chase the glyphs so uh up to you if you want to do this way but i would go for the 500 here I go for this because technically this is better than three essence because it, it can't get worse right uh, at this point if it's a three it's 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 just whatever so you go this this path and then this path right here then you, you go this path it's it's much better than this one even if you need the key or well, this one is much better and then you go for the freya but the problem is you need three keys so you have to go this path and this path and get the key what is the third key though Ouch, I have to go this way as well. I have to dump. Oh my dude, the plerium man, please. Oh wait, you don't have. Okay, you you, you can take all, one here. And then you go one, you get two here and then you can grab the soul if you have. So uh, today's video, we will pull uh, 10 sacred shards. Uh, is there anything in you? Let's see. Oh, I still haven't claimed this free stuff. So make sure you log into the game and claim this free stuff because we get a bunch of goodies. Three immortal star, one primal, and three uh, energy refills. That's actually great. I think they have an expiry of uh, 99. So that that never happened in the past. Okay, let's open this box and it's a uh, five. S uh, it's a speed charms. So it's it's actually good. It actually has a good value. I love speed charms. Charm. What a chance to get speed stuff. So uh, what's the event today? It's two X. It's two X on the uh, sacred shards. So. And the champion here, uh, what's his name? Glassy or Gl 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 Glaycad uh, is actually one of the good champions. People call him Red Affinity Dutchess, but he has better kit than Dutchess, a slightly better kit. Uh, let's go through the kit. Let's start with A3. Revive all dead allies with 40% uh, HP, 25% turn meter, place increased accuracy and increased defense. Uh, if we go to Dutchess, what is Dutchy? She's a demon. We all know she's a demon. Uh, revive, Veil, and Continuous Heal. I think Veil is better, but remember that Gl 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 Glycad, or whatever his name is, has increased defense. It's extremely r rare. Uh, it's not as common to have increased defense on Revive. You do need increased defense on Revive. I mean, you could say that Veil has almost the same, but it's not perfect Veil. So this is a 15% uh, damage mitigation, right? Uh, let's go back and see the rest of the kit. If no allies were revived by this skill, grant this champion an extra turn. So this is this is like what we call it the power creep. It's like this is why he's slightly better. So if there is no one to revive, he will put increased accuracy, increased defense, and then grant another turn. And this is this is good in one situation, which is Fire Knight. This is extremely good in one situation, which is Fire Knight, because. Uh, of his A1, which is double hitter and 50% chance to uh, put freeze debuffs uh, for one turn. And if you have this increased defense, you know that you can reflect uh, five hits back to the Fire Knight with double hitter on A1 that has a chance to debuff to, to, to put freeze. It might come clutch, but all the speed, uh, the speed farm teams for Fire Knight requires like just kill the boss as soon as possible. Like no, don't let the boss take any turn. Uh, his A2, increase attack and perfect veil for two turn, okay? On all allies, except this champion. I mean, he doesn't need to increase. Uh, okay, increase attack for everyone. Inclu that includes him. I think his damage is based on attack, but he only has one ability that hits. 
Uh, then fill the turn meter of all allies by 15%. See, guys? This is why, again, he's a slightly better Duchess. He filled the turn meter as well. Uh, his passive. And allies under perfect veil buff by this champion deals 10% more damage. So, on Duchess, ally receive less damage. On this guy, allies do more damage. Allies under perfect veil buffed placed by this champion deal additional 10% damage to enemy under veil. So technically, if you are playing against Duchess, your champions will do 20% more damage. And we have a speed aura. So overall, he's a great champion. He's one of the best supports when it comes to uh, red affinity champions. Duchess used to be the best support for green affinity champions. I think he's the best support for red affinity champions if we're not talking about mythicals. So we're going to pull 10 sacred shots today. I do think that we are off mercy. Uh, okay, we only have two. So if we can pull one legendary, that's good. I do want to get an Ugo uh, so I can plus for my Ugo and have it at easier uh, build. Uh, wait, I have those. Okay, I need to pull those as well. So here, what do I want? Armands. Three Armands. Okay, we have three pulls. I would like to get three Armands so I can plus three my Armands because I only have one. Anything else worth pulling? I mean, I wouldn't say no to Kaja. I wouldn't say no. Wait, I would not say no to Nikmothar. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Oh, I already have two Nikmothar. No, never mind. I don't want Nikmothar. Uh, I would not say no to uh, Eustred. Uh, I think I have two. No, I would actually say no. If I pull one, I need two. So one doesn't do it. Pythion is fine, but hey, we're pulling. Hoping for this guy uh, because he is kind of one of the best supports when it comes to uh, live arena or arena or classic arena or 3v3 arena. So let's just pull and get three legendaries. That's all the expectations as always. What's my legendary? I was pulling a tra trash epic. Build a turn meter plus in place, place increase attack on four turn. Attack all enemies 75% random buff. Whatever. Let's keep going. Let's get the legendary pretty fast okay another epic stagnite i think my stagnite is not a plus four so i wouldn't say no to this but i would like my odin how about that okay another epic uh deacon i think i have a plus three deacon so this one can help me into getting a plus four deacon so let's just go and we we need to pull i think eight more so let's keep pulling and hopefully we get Glycad or whatever his name is Enda what's this guy he looks like a freeze because those are like frozen abilities attack three at random attack and why does does it look like freeze but he doesn't freeze decrease accuracy sure the, the worst debuff in the game let's keep pulling ouch where's my legendary I think that she's bad like bad bad yeah. Dude, it takes like forever to get sacred shards. And when you pull them, they go so fast. Because uh, Captain Tamila, uh, I wish I pulled her like two days ago. Because I made a guide about uh, the Dark Kale. Uh, the, the epic one. And she is the, the one that empowered him. So I, <laughs> I was like, okay, it will take forever. And once I made the guide, of course, I pulled her. So I can finish my, my Dark Kale. Classic, classic game. Like, I've been waiting forever for that, but I've never pulled her. Uh, Kytus. Heal reduction. Oh, Kytus is good. Yeah, he's, he's a good epic. Now I remember him. He's the heal reduction and the guy that hits hard. Okay, legendary. Corvus. Oh. Uh, okay, I have mixed feelings about this because this is the best solo champion in the game. But I have him. That's the problem. He looks like Black Eyed. I'm like, I was like a bit hyped because... I thought that was him. Uh, faction Guardians. See oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. 10 speed. Okay. That's actually good. The problem is Corvus is the only champion from the, the entire faction. Wait. I know. I might be mistaken. No. I use lots of champions here. I use Venus. I use Cardi. I use Vitreus. Wait. This is actually good. This is good. My Vitreus now gained 10 speed. I would love Vitreus to be better, but I use Vitreus a lot, and probably I'm the only one in the world using him, but he, he's, he's not a bad champion. Okay, let's pull three more, or two more. 
Epic man, give me three legendaries. I think I need this champion. Attack two poison. Attack three poison sensitivity. Attack for the random. Place hex. Oh, I know this champion, and she has speed all and all battles. Yeah, she's she's not bad. She's not bad. She's one of the good ones. And that will be the last poll. Uh, I will attach at the end of the video. Uh, Kurt City because I am uh, seven stages away from finishing it. And I finished the entire Kurt City. So just to show you guys what is this box. I think I've showed it in videos before. But why not showing it more, right? In the next video. So if you guys are interested, make sure to check the channel again later. And yeah. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because as you can see, uh, we do need uh, subscribers. Uh, this channel is like uh, quite new. It's not technically new. I, all, I, I know that I focus on content that's not appealing for everyone, but I'm trying to help everyone to finish their Centranos, especially every rotation. So yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, Make sure to subscribe. I will catch you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.